I want to share something kind of personal with you this morning. Some of you guys know that my cousin is a command master chief in the Navy. He's been in the Navy for 18 years. He's on board the uh, USS Abraham Lincoln, which is headed to the 5th Fleet area. This is his. A lot of you guys know what that is. Strike Fighter Squadron 3-4. Have a gun, will travel. <laughs> CMDCMAW slash SW. Um, we've been in contact daily. Email. Um, not a lot he can tell me over email, and that's, that's understandable. I mean, it's this is a it's a hard video to make, but we've been going back and forth on email, just talking about stuff, and um, it, basically, I, I told him yesterday how worried that I am. You know, we we disagree on a lot of stuff. We disagree on the new world order, and and, and you know, but we have great debates about it, and I value those. Um. I told him I was worried, and uh, this is his. This is a direct quote from the email. We are the strongest navy in the world. I hope they try something. Now, please don't misinterpret that. My cousin does not want war. He has a different mindset, though. You have to understand, he's been in the military for 18 years. He does not want to see war, but he's a command master chief, and it's what he does for a living. Um, I'm absolutely proud of him. He's my best friend, you know. He worked his way up. 18 years worked his way up to the top rank that he's going to achieve with his particular job. Um, I really don't know what's going to happen. But I know he didn't get called over there for just to look scary, you know. I think Ahmadinejad is crazy enough to... I mean, it, they're not going to just talk forever. The U.S. national debt, at least by what it says on the debt clock, is over, what, $15 trillion? I'll put a link to that below. Check the link out below. Watch the numbers roll. And then ask yourself... How the hell are we going to fix that? There's no possible way to fix. It's just going to keep going. There's no going back. You cannot reverse those numbers. Click the link and bring the screen up below. And check out the numbers. There's no way to fix that. It's not an issue of voting those bastards out. Way beyond that point way beyond that point. So, because there's no way to fix that, and it, it just can't keep going forever, eventually, it's inevitable. World War III is inevitable. It's inevitable. This really sucks, man. This really fucking sucks. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys this morning. He doesn't want war, but you have to understand he's on a ship that's assigned to battle. And that's what they do. Today's shout out Carney Art. Carney Art is back. Those of you who were wondering what happened to Carney Art, uh, he's back with a fresh channel. I will put the link below. Uh, go ahead and um, go over there and sub. Those of you who don't know Carney Art, he does uh, updates on what's going on with the Earth and you know just current events. You know, um, so he's a damn good guy. Known him for a while here, so check his stuff out if you don't know who he is. For the rest of you, Carney Art's back. Link below. That's about all I got this morning. 
I am gonna fire up the blog TV today. Got a lot of uh, got a lot of work to get done today, so um, blog TV's open. Feel free to come, go, drop your links, whatever. The ops own the chat room always. You guys have a good Wednesday.